Hi everybody. Happy, what is it, Wednesday today, maybe? I think it is. Yeah, one of the kids has gone to school today because it's Wednesday. You know, those Mondays off really knock my um, scheduling and awareness of time and space for a wallop. So anyway, I'm showing you this because I just got two bags of chicken bones for broth out of my deep freeze and I'm going to make a bunch of bone broth today. So what I'm going to do first is pressure cook these bones and get some of the, you know, the collagen and things loose. I, I like to do it in this because it's faster and because it doesn't mess up my oven and just take all day long because I have other things I want to do today. So this is getting ready to get pressure cooked. After it's pressure cooked, I'll let it simmer down some and I will uh, add vegetables to it, carrots, celery, onions, whatever, garlic, uh, ginger, apple cider vinegar. Oh, I gotta put apple cider vinegar in this first. I just remember that leaches the um, stuff from the bones that you need, the collagen from the, you know, all, all of that. So anyway, I'm gonna put the apple cider vinegar in there now. Then I'm gonna make this all around the corner here. I'm gonna make a lemon cake. I'm not gonna follow the directions. I uh, hear tell, you don't have to follow the directions here. Like it says to add one cup of water, but you don't have to add one cup of water. You can add one cup of milk. It says to add three eggs. You can add four. It says to add a half cup of vegetable oil. Instead, I'm gonna add a half cup of butter. This may fall flat on my face, not work. It cost me $1.23. I don't know, what is that, a dollar's worth of butter back there? But anyway, I'm going to try. And because I've never done that before, I've never done that that I've seen everybody say works. It's got to work if everybody loves it, right? I mean, all the other cool kids are doing it. So, bunt pan is going to come out while this is doing that thing. And then I'm planning dinner too. I'm doing a uh, salmon and butter garlic pasta and something green. I'm not sure what yet, but something green. Okay, I'm gonna get busy. Oh, let me show you the salmon first. I'm sure that you hear my washing machine. I think it's getting ready to spin. And my laundry room is off the kitchen here. Anyway, I'd show you, but it's a mess again. It's not a bad mess, I'll show you. That towel on the floor has got shoes because we've had rain and snow and everything. I don't want the kids tracking it in. And there's a laundry basket. and It's dark in there because I didn't open that shade yet. So, swing you back around here slow. I have Atlantic salmon, skin on portions. I got it at Walmart. It's great value. It's two pounds. There's four of us. Half pound each, right? Um, I'll just put this in a, a foil pocket with some lemon slices and some olive oil and some onion and that's the way I like it. <laughs> that's the way I like it. It always reminds me of Casey and the Sunshine Band in high school. <laughs> it's to dance to that. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all I have planned for now. Plus that laundry you hear going. And I'm the only one here right now except the little doggies and Miss Pris, Miss Joy. The little girl has decided to go on strike and not go potty at all. She does that sometimes. And when she's ready to go, she will look at me with sheer panic in her eyes, in my face. She'll crawl up my leg if she has to. Get me out of here, I gotta go, kind of thing. Anyway, what's going on over here? This is, I just washed up my, what did I do with the other one? Oh, I put it on the stove. I washed these up good because I had made them stew and just left them covered on the stove and I never do that and I shouldn't because I don't like that it just it's bad anyway most of the dishes are in the dishwasher except for these couple things here and it's supposed to be a rainy dreary day blah 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 it's February I just put a thing on Facebook and I said it's the February needs to go I'm just I'm tired of February <laughs> but it's gonna snow again the end of the week so there's that I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, here, this is chamomile tea. I'm drinking chamomile tea right now. Here's, uh, I'm gonna put this entire onion in it, if it's good. It feels like it is. Sometimes when I unwrap them, I'll find that under the wrap, 
I stored them too long or they didn't arrive soon enough from the farm or whatever. But I'll use as much of this as I can. And I'm going to use probably three carrots, maybe four. I don't know. We'll see. And some celery. And I like to use just the tops of the celery because we're not eating these vegetables. These are only to make the broth. And I'm going to cook them so much that they'll be mush anyway. So there's a lot of vitamins and goodness in the end tops of celery. Just be sure you wash them really, really well, which I will do. And I'm going to put in some ginger. I'm not crazy about the taste of ginger, but I don't really taste it when I have it in my bone broth. I think there are too many other things going on in the bone broth. I'm also going to, I didn't get it out, but I've got fresh garlic and I'll use a heap and helping of that. And so I don't know if I filmed it or not, but I closed the lid and I put one hour's time to pressure cook those bones and try to release some of the goodness from them. All right, let's get busy on washing veggies, chopping veggies. Got my bowl here to put them all in, and this is a garbage bowl. I think I'm ready, except for the garlic, I'm ready, and a knife. I have probably two tablespoons, maybe three, of garlic in the bowl. And I just opened and took out a thumb size. Let's see if I'm right. Kind of the end of your thumb. <laughs> of what is this? Ginger. And it was in the freezer, and I'm going to stick it back in there before it thaws out. So there's the ginger, and if you've never used fresh ginger before, you want to peel the uh, corner, the covering off of it, the peel. You can do that with a spoon, just the sharp edge of a spoon. I just chose to do it with a knife because I wasn't getting up, getting another spoon. Um, so this is just about, what, what would you say that is, a tablespoon maybe? All in all, so I'm going to put it in the bowl with the garlic. I have 28 minutes left on the bones in the pressure, well, instant pot. And um, then it'll probably take another 20 at least to chill enough for me to open it up. Because with the uh, fat on chicken, it stays hotter longer than if it were, say, I don't know, regular soup with vegetables and nothing fatty in it done here i've got carrots celery onions garlic ginger i think that's it <laughs> and i realized i looked up and it was noon that i had not eaten yet so i had myself with some um cottage cheese you know just i i wanted something fast i could eat while i was working so i'm gonna work on something else while i do this i'm gonna go switch over the laundry for one thing the bones have cooked for an hour on high pressure, and so now I'm going to go ahead and add all of the vegetables to that broth and maybe some more uh, water to make more broth. We'll see how it looks after all the veggies are in, maybe after it cooks down some. There we go. I did add some water, and then I've got all the vegetables, the garlic, the ginger, carrots, onions, celery, did I, say, I think I said onions twice. Anyway, here's my first maiden joyage with my pampered chef, Spidey. And I'm going to hit this just on um, soup for another two hours or so, maybe more. I've got it on the soup broth function for two hours. Is that two hours? 60 plus 60, yeah. <laughs> and there you go. So it's just going to, I'm not going to put a lid on it. I'm just going to let it go and uh, do its thing and we'll see how it looks for more liquid in say an hour or so now the oven has been heated preheating i think it i think it did preheat to uh 350 and i can't find my bunt cake pan anywhere i have put it in a great new location i can't think of anywhere else to look i'll look one more spot but i already greased this 13 by 9 by 13 yeah and I thought I'd do that. So, you know, I told you, I think already, that when you make one of these, let me hold this camera right. When you make one of these cakes, you can jazz it up, like with the Cake Doctor book suggestions. I didn't get this from the Cake Doctor book, although I do have it. I got it at a used bookstore. Uh, what I got it from was one of you, I believe. So instead of one cup of water, I put one cup of milk. I surely did. And then I put, instead of three eggs, I put four. 
and um, instead of half a cup of vegetable oil, I put a stick of, or a half cup of softened butter and the cake mix. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a nice mix for, how long does it say to mix it for? Two minutes, we'll see how it looks at two minutes. Well, it's gone two minutes and it looks nice and mixed together and it actually resembles pound cake batter. So it may come out more like a pound cake, which makes me even sadder I looked again, I cannot find the silly thing. <sighs> I know I put it somewhere where I won't look often because I don't use it often. The ring for, you know, pound cake. <laughs> I decided to take it off 350 and put it on 300 because when I make a pound pound cake, a pound cake, I like to cook it at a lower temperature because that's what the recipes have told me to do in the past. So, I'll check it, you know, see what it says. Um, I gotta check how much time it gets for a regular cake without upping those ingredients. 25 minutes it is. Maybe I'll check it in 12. I'll set an alarm on my phone. It's done and it's perfect. I stuck it in two different places with a toothpick. Came out clean and dry. So I am gonna let this totally cool. And here's my idea. I would like to frost this with lemon curd folded into whipped cream. Cool whip. What do you think? I mean, I could make my own whipped cream. Would that hold up better? Gosh, I'm not sure. I could easily make some whipped cream today. I don't know. We'll see. I did decide to use a Cool Whip, another thing out of the freezer for now. And so, I have just a little bit that's kind of still frozen in the middle and I tried to spread it out, you know, so that I could get it to thaw faster. And here is the lemon curd. I'm going to go ahead and try it. So this is Wilkin and Sons Limited Tip Tree Lemon Curd. Refrigerate after open uh, since 1885. I'm not wearing my glasses. I'll put them down and I can see. Um, it's from England. I mean, the company is from England, imported um, to San Ramon, California, made in the UK, best before November of 24. So this, I bought two jars. It was, uh, some of the jars are just crazy expensive, and this one was actually, you know, a good, a good amount to spend, I think. I can't remember what that was. I'm sorry. So 80 calories a serving and it's, um, oh, my oven just rang to tell me that the uh, oven's ready for the salmon. Anyway, um, it has sugar, salted butter, milk, lemon juice, free range egg yolk, free range whole egg, citric acid, citric citrus pectin and lemon oil i think that'll be tasty i wish that um my husband were here to taste it <laughs> i know you can hear the dishwasher i'm sorry about that but i filled it up had to start it i removed all of the solids from the broth and i've got the containers here and they're labeled and i may or may not get that much i've put out four quarts here i think it's quarts here it is. It'll take hours and hours to get even a little bit cooled down. There's um, still some solids in it, some smaller solids that I'll uh, push through a cheesecloth when I pour it out. So it'll be fine in the end. And here I put the salmon in foil envelopes with, what did I put them in with? Um, seasonings and lemon and whatnot so there you have that i'm not going to bore you with it i'll show you on a plate
I tasted the spoon when I was done. This is amazing. I will continue. This will be a forever when I make a lemon cake. You got to try this. I found this um, lemon curd on Amazon. And so, you know, it was no big deal because I couldn't get it for under $20 local. It was crazy. So what it did was I just put in, I think I added about, see this spoon is just a regular old kitchen spoon. I put in, I think, four or five. So sorry, I cut you off. I put four or five of these spoonfuls into the whole container, which I emptied into a bowl. What ounce is this? Eight, I think. Oh, Kendra, whatevers. You guys can probably tell better than I can just by looking at it. It's a, who knows? All right, it's about that size. <laughs> it thickened it. It just thickened it like um, whipped frosting, which is exactly what it's supposed to be. So here's a side view. I'm loving this. This jar of lemon curd is good until November of 24. So I'm going to save the jar just like I would jelly in my refrigerator. It says refrigerate after opening. And at Easter, this is what I'm making for a dessert. Lemon cake with lemon curd. Do it. All right, here it is. I've got my salmon, green beans, and just butter, garlic, um, salt, pepper, different I've got two different bags here because they were almost both empty so I used it up and my trusty water I'll show you dessert when the dinner's gone this is so good I haven't made salmon in forever I'm one of those people that leaves the skin on when I cook it and the reason I do that is it keeps it from drying out the salmon and that's pure fat right there that skin is very fatty and it gives the flavor to the meat like I wouldn't remove all the fat from a steak a good steak you know I mean if it was something else I might like chicken but this is good I ate every bit every bit <laughs> well I didn't eat skin I said I wouldn't eat that but you know what I mean good good stuff I really did enjoy dinner tonight so there it is she's a thing of beauty I'm gonna eat her right up so that's my story for tonight and um here, let me taste the cake, too. He was in the fridge. It's a little hard. Mmm. <laughs> the cake is, definitely has a pound cake consistency. It's not a light, light, fluffy. So if you don't think you'd like that, I would use the regular recipe on the box, you know. So, if you got this far, please su subscribe, make a comment, give a thumbs up, all that stuff. I sure enjoy that, and I enjoy meeting new people and chatting, so don't be afraid to comment. Bye, everybody.